so as we all know that this story has a special significance not only it is about the definition of a house or a home because yesterday we had a good discussion what is house and what is home and there was an open discussion the students they had their answer i was genuinely happy when you all shared your views so basically this story is having a very thin line between a house and a home and as you all have given a nice definition that house is a concrete building but home is a place where a family lives together sharing the unique bond of love harmony peace oneness compassion so similarly now what happens that the narrator's house gets destroyed by fire and then he gets a new house so that we will going to discuss second important thing was that that this story was also presenting the challenges of being a teenager as it is written over here also that the story reflects the challenges of being a teenager and the problems of growing up because when you are at this stage of your life you are genuinely confused you don't know so many things are there people are going to expect a lot from you and sometimes you are not able to uh share your views your own opinion so that is also very important thing and if there is any change in your life so the narrator our the boy the teenage boy so many other problems he himself is facing in his life he has lost his father that is one very big thing and secondly then you will come to know that he has to change his school also so yesterday i discussed everything that as you came to senior wing so how many things and what were the things that you actually missed okay in your uh, previous uh, section actually you don't have to change the building only the set of teachers were changed so that was a little fine uh, but still there are other changes which you faced in senior middle section you were the senior most class then you came to uh, senior wing where you were the junior class so they were the these were the problems so once again i'm just going you to be uh, going to give you brief introduction those who have not attended my class yesterday for them it is okay so listen carefully now the story started and the narrator he is he has entered high school but he was not very happy because uh, when he left his previous school there he was the head of the school and he enjoyed all the privileges which is being given to a senior student but it was generally genuinely uncomfortable to be for him to be a fresher at a high school the school was very big no matter but the most uh, but not a, uh, it is about that the big school or small school the worst thing was that that his closest friend his closest friends were sent to different high school as you face the problem of reshuffling in the classes and sometimes you miss badly your friends similarly he also started feeling bad because his close friends were sent to different high school and you know he felt isolated isolated you all know lonely then what happened anyway he still used to go back to his old school and he used to meet his teachers because obviously he was missing his old school teachers would encourage him to meet new people in new school and to get involved in new activities now this is the job of teachers they will always encourage you never discourage you so they also started telling him that fine you come and meet us that's okay but you go and get involved they said that uh, teachers also said that after some time he would adjust to the new surroundings and would love the new school more than the previous one and that is the life that if you have taken if you have uh, adopted some new thing maybe in the beginning you will have some problem but thereafter you adjust because this is life only so teacher also knew that anyway he was feeling at home the, but still narrator our uh, he, uh, teenage boy he was trying to feel comfortable with these words of teachers but life is still pr problematic for them uh, for him now then something happened what happened one sunday afternoon an accident occurred and zan was sitting he was sitting at dining table doing his homework the day was cold and windy and a fire was up at the fireplace so generally they have the you know i told you this is generally they don't have the concrete houses most of the houses are made of wood so it is very easy for the houses to catch a fire and that day was also windy very cold and the fireplace was also there the fire was lit up the narrator pet cat now narrator was very close to his pet a cat 
was laying on top of sheets of paper making whirring sound hitting on his pen just for amusement everything was going on well now he is also referring about cat that zen was very close to cat because he protected it and obviously cats and dogs and any animals they are much more loyal than any human being so cat was also very close to him she was never far from him since he had rescued her so in this manner everything was going on well all of sudden what happened zen's mother tended the fire to keep the house warm and then there was a smoke filling the room from the ceiling all of sudden he smelled something strange and what did he notice he noticed that some smoke is that deadly smoke is pouring in through the seams of ceiling the smoke began to fill the room so quickly that he could barely see groping our way to the front door we all ran out into the front yard and then the story and so all of a sudden he noticed something strange what was that that house was on fire and i in, i told you that in most of the cases people did not die because was because of burning but they inhaling by inhale, inhaling the carbon monoxide they die so that was the problematic thing and he saw that what did he uh, saw uh, did he see sorry that the time he we made our way outside the whole roof was engulfed in flames and it was spreading quickly i ran to the neighbors to call the fire department yes while i watched my mother run back into the house but so the house was on fire and all of a sudden he watched something what did he watch that his mother she ran back into the house why was that my mother then ran out of the house carrying a small metal box full of important documents she dropped the case on the lawn and in a crazed state ran back into the house i knew what she was after so i told you this also that first of all she tried to save things which was very important for the family specifically some documents certificates that she but again she went inside and the narrator zan was knowing why she went inside they have already lost their father and this was the only thing that he wanted what was that that she dropped the case and she went inside my father had died when i was young and i was certain that she was not going to let his picture and letters go up in flames so she was basically having this memory only i told you in those days they were not having the digital thing so basically everything was on paper nowadays at least we have this facility no we can save everything on internet and we have the proof i cloud may you can keep the photographs we have digi locker so certificates are also safe no one can burn it no one can ruin it but in those days it was not so and the lady was only having that means jens mother was only having that pictures that photograph which she has the last memory of her husband my father had died when i was young and i was certain that she was not going to let his pictures and letters go up in flames who, who will do that so obviously she did not want to burn the last memory of her husband and obviously the boy also did not want to lose the memory of his father they were the only things that she had to remember him by because this was the last memory but still zen was not feeling comfortable because he was knowing that the fire is very dangerous and he also did not want to hurt or lose his mother so he still screamed at her mom no why he screamed because he was scared of that uh, you know fire and he was knowing that if the mother will enter into inside the house maybe she will hurt she will something will happen to her i was about to run after her when i felt a large hand hold me back but as he thought that he will also go get inside then try to run he thought that he will be able to stop her but then what happened somebody hold him and who was that the firefighter the fireman uh, it was a fireman you know fire uh, brigade fire fighting things have reached there so fireman also this stopped him he was a small boy at all i hadn't even noticed that a street had already filled with fire trucks you remember he went to neighbor's house from where he made a call 
and the moment he made a call obviously it's not india so fire trucks reached on time and they starting to douse the fire but at that moment he didn't notice he was only looking at his house which was burning down you know house home whatever you call it it is full of memories and specifically all his precious things it is so difficult no when you see things are just getting burned down and specifically he is also obviously he has lost his father some memories are also there so he also tried to enter inside but is stopped by fireman i was trying to free myself from his grasp yelling but he was he tried to come out he was yelling shouting because he was really genuinely scared for his mother you don't understand my mother is in there and then he started he said that why don't you try to understand my mother had entered the house because now he was actually scared for his mother he held on to me while other fire fighters ran into the house when he shouted that my mother is inside some of them entered into the they ran to save his mother as well they was obviously they are very brave men they have been trained in that manner so one fireman hold him and other ran inside to help his mother he knew that i wasn't acting very logically and that if he were to let go i would run he was right now fire fighters were knowing sometimes what happens your mind is to stop thinking logically and what happens you are overpowered by emotion at that moment he was his entire personality was overpowered by the emotion emotion is what his mother was inside that place he was so much scared already he has lost his father so he did not want to lose his mother at any cost he was also knowing that if he will enter the house he will hurt and burn himself but at that moment your mind doesn't work you know you don't think logically because emotion is there you are thinking about your near and dear ones specifically your mother is there so he was knowing that if he will leave him what will happen firefighter did not let him go because he was also knowing that the moment he will leave him jan would zan would run into the house and yes he was right he will definitely run it's all right they will get her he said he was trying to console her the firefighters with his consolation consolation word he said plumma come on be quiet our people are there they are quite you know a smart trained brave and they will help them and then he what did he saw he wrapped a blanket around me and one minute and sat me down in our car soon after that a fireman emerged from our house with you can see it in the picture with my mom in tow and yes he was right the fire fighter wrapped the blanket around zan and made him sit in the car why because uh, you know blanket will also save him from any kind of burning as well as it was very cold and windy day so he asked him to sit in his car their car was safe and then he saw that a fireman man was coming out of the house with zan's mother behind him yes she was towing him and the mother was coming out thank god his mother was safe he quickly took her uh over to the truck and put an oxygen mask on her why as i told you that in these circumstances people unknowingly inhale a lot of dangerous gas carbon monoxide and what happens it will choke your lung so in most of the cases people die because of inhaling this kind of gases so he was knowing that the lady would have inhaled a lot of negative you know these kind of dangerous gas so he took him to the truck and put an oxygen mask so that she will be able to get well recover her breath i ran over and hugged her all those times i ever argued with her and hated her vanished at that thought of losing her you know when you are a teenager what happens you become a little judgmental and this is very common thing that sometimes you are so uh, angry with your parents your fair mother you argue which is also a very common thing why not we will argue with our parents specifically mother because with that kind of bond we are sharing 
the bond which is unconditional a bond of unconditional love a child and a mother always share this kind of bond so if you ever think that if your ma mother is scolding you that means she has some ill feeling for you you are totally wrong similarly a mother should mother knows it very well because i am also a mother that's why i know that if a child is arguing or maybe his words um, are sometimes very harsh and rude that is only for a moment because this is a, such a sweet love this love and compassion no uh, you know relationship nothing can you know uh, have this kind of no one can have this feeling only a child and mother they know very well that what kind of a special bond they share with each other okay am i right or wrong tell me children hmm only a child and a mother knows what kind of a special bonding they with we are sharing actually so at that moment everything vanished yes unconditional love i'm telling you my dear children your parents are the only yes there is some problem leave it hmm you can write it in the chat box whatever you feel about your mother specifically so that unconditional okay leave it stop thereafter the moment we will end this chapter we will discuss these things okay so at that moment when he saw he forget everything and what did he do he uh, the thought of you know that anger that argument yeah arpana and shikha is saying they are saying yes yes it's right so basically the we all know what kind of a special bond we all are sharing so he feels that that i remember uh, that um, uh, the thought of losing his mother aroused affection in his heart and all thoughts of disliking her arguing with her vanished just moved away from his mind she is going to be okay said the fireman she just inhaled a little smoke now fireman he was knowing that what was the reason so he consoled him convinced him don't worry she is going to be okay she only inhaled little smoke and then he ran back to fight the fire while my mother and i sat there dazed i remember watching my house burn down and thinking that there was nothing i could do about it so at that moment he really really was feeling helpless he was genuinely feeling helpless so fireman he consoled him that come on no need to worry and then they ran into the house to bring down the fire but mother and son both of them they were wondering because they were so helpless even if their house was burning before their eyes but how badly they were feeling they cannot even know they cannot do anything that was the only thing that they were helpless you know at this moment what will you do you will do nothing because nothing is there in your hand so the house was burning and burning five hours later so it took five hours obviously it was a nice big house the fire was to finally out thank god the fire was finally out but 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 it nothing remained even though fire was settled down but nothing remained our house was almost completely burned down of course even if fire fighting things were there but nothing can be done it was really the entire house was totally burned down and but then it struck me all of sudden while he was watching very nicely very quietly helplessly and but one thing he missed in this entire you know episode what did he miss i hadn't seen my cat where is his cat only three living creatures were there inside the house mother son and a cat mother was safe son was safe but where is the cat now that was the question where is cat where was my cat much to my horror i realized that she was nowhere to be found and then he found that no the cat was nowhere to be found and then all at once it hit me the new school the fire my cat 
I broke down in tears and cried and cried. I was suffering loss big time. Now see, this is the mental trauma he was facing. All of a sudden, he realized that he hadn't seen his cat. And this entire thought made him depressed. He became sad, depressed. And then, you know, when you are depressed for one reason, first of all, he has lost his home, his house. And then secondly, he started realizing that he has lost his cat as well. Oh God, what he will do? And when one or two depressing thoughts will come to your mind, what will happen, you know? Lot of other depressing thoughts will start coming to your mind. And then he started recollect recollecting all those negative memories. First of all, new school, which was also not liked by him because he never liked it. He was still adjusting, trying to adjust. Then the fire which really burned down his entire house and then the cat. And at that moment, he broke down. His saturation point has reached. The burning of house, losing his pet cat, adjusting in the new school. Everything, all the negative thoughts broke down him in tears. And what did he do? At that moment, what do you do? You cry and cry. Why? Because at that moment, he thought that he was suffering loss, many loss, big time. All, although I will say that there is nothing big, nothing is there because God has given us immense strength and power to fight from all, to fight all the negativity and all the oddities of life. But sometimes, you know, the, you know, life, everyone is facing this kind of negativity in our life. Even you have faced, uh, you are very small, but I have also faced and sometimes we don't know life is so big, but still I will say life has to move on. Still I will say that you should never lose your heart. So never ever think, but at this point of time, Zan was like that. He thought that everything is has come to its end. All the new adjusting in new school and then the fire and then losing his cat all the negative already he had lost his father so definitely he was in a very state you know very uh, bad situation specifically mentally he was devastated destroyed okay so i think that's all for today's class okay chill. tomorrow we will discuss what will happen how he will come out from this